Hello everybody, Sift here again and today I will be playing Spirit Hunters Infinite Horde. Now the game is a bullet hell, bullet heaven, you know, classic roguelike, roguelite actually, you know, with meta progressions. And um, yeah, I mean, your classic vampire survivors uh, look alike, but uh, a lot of differences. First of all, we got the Path of Exile skill tree. Look at this thing. Look at this thing and don't tell me this intrigues you. I mean, if, if you are that style of player, I definitely am. And this fully intrigues me. Like you can, first of all, unlock like things through this unlocks the ability to bone shot like you unlock uh, abilities and stuff through this and you also um level up you know power up the things with unique upgrades for example uh orbiting, orbiting fire you know plus damage plus rotation speed uh a cleaver though plus a cleaver size plus cooldown reduction you know insane uh let's get a run in without any uh meta progression up actually you know what i want to go with orbital fire anyway so let's go with rotation speed on this and let's maybe go even more rotation speed. Not enough money and damage to here. Let's go with this, whatever that is. And uh, let's go with uh, Magnus the Dark Mage. Regenerate 10 health on level up against the Vivian the Sorceress. Soul Magnet increase in size by 5 for each level. I would enjoy this. They also get unique passives for weapons. How awesome is that? Like 10 HP recovery on every orbital fire upgrade. Kills with the cleave have a 2% chance to drop health. 10% chance of 1 HP heal on cast. With a heavenly arrow and the tempting chance to heal all of them is this character this character kills with orbit fire have 25 percent chance to drop blue souls kills with an arrow will drop a blue soul kills with cleave you know she she goes more xp wise so she's the power creep character and he's the more defensive healing character we're gonna go with power creep and also we're gonna pick up the 25 percent uh, this thing the orbital fire i'm gonna try an orbital fire build because uh, the the bone build not the bone the book build in my very first 15 minutes in my very first um vampire survivors run not my very first one in general i really enjoyed the book in vampire survivors so i decided to go with this which uh, is uh, looks similar you know looks similar Although maybe not controlling, uh, not, not that easily controllable. And as Vampire Survivors too, by the way, I, in general, I don't like to do all these comparisons, but it easy, it's just easier to explain everything, you know? It's just easier to say, ah, Vampire Survivors has this, this game has that. Um, like Vampire Survivors, first of all, different, look at this. We get different upgrades, increased dot speed, increased damage. Let's go with increased dot speed, uh, I guess. Which would I would assume means that the longer somebody stays in the fire, the more times they're gonna get attacked. So I need that dot speed to become... Practically, wait, is there a burn? Okay, here we got the first upgrade. This, uh, as far as I, I have seen a bit of footage of other players, this uh, appears just from below you, so whoever is close to you gets hit. This I would know. Uh, this is just ours, I guess, and this is a cleave. Let's go with the cleave. I want to go full on melee AoE. So, in case, you know, something somehow survives, we cleave him down. So now I hit him. Is he burning? Oh, he is actually burning. But I guess it doesn't stack, or at least it didn't look like it stacks. Now, I'm uh, in general in this game, you want to be moving around. As far as I have seen other players, uh, there are some treasures. By the way, I did just a very quick run just to see what happens in general, the feeling. Increased crit hit chance against increased attack size. Uh, let's go attack size. I'm gonna go full all in on cleave and um, this flamey spinny thing. Now, as you saw in the beginning, I have access to four weapons. So uh, that means by definition, I should always have an upgrade for one of the three weapons. Increase damage by one, increase attack size. Let's go attack size. Uh, the, uh, I say by definition because uh, although, as you see, I am gaining once in a while two upgrades for the same weapon, that is obviously not possible if I'm about to get a new weapon, right? So even if I get both of the new weapons presented, I will still, the third choice will be upgrade one of the other two. Decrease cooldown, I would say yes on the cooldown. By the way, I definitely need to increase the damage of Cleave. Yeah, it's doing like one damage right now. And I also need to get out of this pickle. Let's go away. By the way, I have no idea how you heal. I have no idea about anything. I literally played this for half a sec. Uh, let's go here. Like, I played it for about three minutes just to get a feel for it. And then off I went on the recording. I see souls disappear. That is something disappointing. And we got a treasure chest, which, as I see, has the capping mechanism of, uh, I guess, I don't know, Overwatch. <laughs> We also opened a box there that had coins in it. What the coins are used, I wouldn't know. Damage, increased dot speed against damage. Let's go with damage on the flippy spin. I would like this to be bigger or go faster around. Okay, this is meta progression currency. So treasures are meta progression currency. You got to remember that. Whoop. We got hit. I'm not sure if it was as loud as it is on me. Like, she was like... Wah! Let's try to apply a, dot, a couple of dots on these guys. Ooh, the cleave there. Attack size, exactly not what I wanted. Exactly what I wanted. And now I just need a bunch of speed. Like, I want this to spin fast, 
do a bunch of damage. You know, a bunch of upgrades. In general, this game, I'm not sure if there are legendary upgrades, you know, evolutions. But there there are definitely infinite levels on your skills. Like, you can forever level up the skill. Ooh, don't tell me the meta progression currency also goes away. That's, just, that, that's bad design, in my opinion. Meta progression currency. In general, XP drops going away is bad design, my opinion. My opinion, once again. Um, it's it's just a it's just a mechanic that forces you to go into places. Increase speed, twenty percent. Is this a legendary an epic? Are there like differentiations? I think I I thought this was like ten percent. At least the meta progression upgrade was ten percent. So the fact that this rolled three D, I don't know. By the way, I see some skeletons getting stuck behind walls. I guess uh, here this middle spot I am at right now is uh, the good spot to be at. Only points appear from below. Increase damage, I would say yes. Let's make that instead of doing one damage, do two. By the way, what's up with all these skeletons? What's up with all these skeletons? They're one shot opponents, first of all, because they were dying at one damage. Now they're also dying at two. Uh, I would say cooldown. Imagine if this somehow goes down. Oh, the money is for rerolls. I just saw that there was a reroll. And what is this? Smack them all with a cleave. That's why I went cleave, man. That's why I went cleave. To be able to attack masses of opponents. Increase attack size. I would say yes. Let's make that thing huge. And let's hope it can somehow rotate even faster at some point. Because if I can make that thing rotate faster and hit everything, we're gonna be crazy. Increase size or damage. Let's go with size. Seems like the size also make it, makes it go, go faster. Or at least it feels like it goes faster, although it doesn't. I really hope there is some kind of healing. Increase damage by one. I really hope there is some kind of healing. Other than, you know, the healing character. Maybe that is, though, what they have done. First of all, I need to start going away from the spot because the most important part is to, you know, find chests, find stuff, increase attack size even more. I would say yes. Make this thing huge. It's also critting as far as I see. I'm going in circles, by the way. Whoa, almost got hit there. So now the main, the base opponents are no longer skeletons. Now they're bees. Not that that makes any difference whatsoever. Okay. Increase damage by one, I would say yes. That does even more. Stay away from me. Whoop, what is this? Sounds like an elite. Looks like an elite. It's back there. Yep, this looks like an elite. Let's hope it hasn't the patterns. Uh, I don't know. Do I have to chase it down? Where is it going? What is it? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill. Do I actually have to chase it down? By the way, we are here. There is like a timetable, as you see. Is it going to go away and just come back? Or do I actually have to chase it? Is it gone forever? Oh, no, it's here. Okay, let's chase that thing down and try to go next to it. What is that? What is this? First of all, I enjoy that this thing got stuck. I see this is a shop. Okay, I'm going to come back to this in a moment. Hopefully, hoping that it's going to be here. I want to get the elite if I can. Oh, forget the elite. Forget the elite. I don't want to go that away from that. Attack size, 20%. Yeah, nice. Look at this. It has become huge, man. I just needed to do a million damage too. Let's go into the shop. Okay, I should have gone into the shop and then she's the elite. Small stack of runes for 250. That is meta progression currency. Uh, medium stack of crystals. That's also meta progression currency. This is unlock new stuff. This is upgrades already stuff. Medium jars of blue souls. This is XP for this current run. A medium stack of runes. I don't have that much money. I definitely want this. Replenish the health. 2 hearts for 50. I don't know how much 2 healths are. Let's try 2. Uh, I don't have enough money for anything else. Here, let's get the stacks of souls. I was assuming... I was assuming that the shop's gonna disappear. Now each health is 10% life. So it was not enough. I should have gone with more. What is happening? We are getting surrounded slowly. Yeah, I need my flamey flame that goes around to go a lot faster. I need to get to a point where the flame literally goes around. Uh, attack size again. Yeah, I don't need size, I need speed. Although size also adds speed because it has a higher, uh, you know, it tries to do the same circle, the, the same... Um, okay, let's say it takes it... It tries to do a full 360 circle within the same time. So by having bigger radius... Oh, I got hit there twice, thrice. It... Dot speed. That's not really that useful, but still it's better than the rest. I really enjoy the fact that we're gaining XP really quickly, though. I have to say that. That's good here. I, I enjoy that we're still at a steady pace. Crit chance. Size. Let's go with size. Not that I'm really using it at this point. 
I should use it to cleave on the right side. Yeah, I should like always cleave towards the right or left and always move towards right or left. I think that's the safest option. I say and then get hit. Uh, you know what? This is a good reroll chance. I was gonna go crit chance here. I could also invest in the spikes. But the thing is, the moment I open up uh, any other skill other than the two we have, I already mentioned what's gonna happen. And what is gonna happen is opponents, uh, not opponents, on level up I will uh, start having a chance to, you know, draw upgrades for the things I don't really want. Cooldown on the cleave. That's actually decent. I really enjoy the fact that spikes do not actually damage you. I yolo that very heavily. Oh, let's avoid maybe. I, I also enjoy the fact that opponents don't actually, not all opponents try to chase us down. Like a couple of them do, yes. But most of them just run towards us and then just go on with their lives. Okay, second elite. Is this elite also just gonna skip us? Here it is. Feels like it's gonna skip us. It's over there in the corner. The other one definitely bailed. Okay, this is not actually skipping us. It seems so. Oh, I found a life. That's why we should always go in circles here and try to find some new items. I hit him once. Is the burn permanent? Maybe the burn is permanent. Try to hit him more. I see meta progression green. I see XP. They're blinking. Avoid the boss. I'm running towards the left. Let's go with the burn. Happens faster. Not the circles. The burn specifically. Which is worse than the circle itself. Can I get speed on the circle please? Like it has been a very long time since the last time I got speed on the circle. I definitely need speed on the circle. Okay we found a couple more skeletons. When I say a couple I mean a bunch. Size on this. Might as well. Okay, nice, 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 nice. We're getting a lot of XP here. Let's avoid the elite coming in. Whoop, we got elite chest. Okay, so we definitely should have chased the other elite that we just left to go. <laughs> also, this was had a bit of heal in it. Level up, increase damage by one. And that, that's good. That's actually good. I see we're full on getting surrounded right now. We're at the half minute mark. And when I say half minute mark, I obviously mean uh, half of the map. Increase the dot speed. Cooldown on cleave. Now we're gonna go increase the dot speed. Like, if the dot becomes 0 0.01, then whatever gets hit by the flame is gonna just die instantly. From the dots being like 10 per second. Flames are really good. Increase dot speed to 1 per second at this point. That's pretty good. And now the flame. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the flame tactics, man. Whoa, whoa, something is below me. Please don't tell me it's gonna kill me instantly. Let's run away from this thing. Oh, come on. Everything is gonna appear below me? Man, ima imagine going doing well and then like the game is like, oh, you know what? Let's introduce a new enemy. <laughs> Let's go with damage. Let's introduce a new enemy that appears below you. <laughs> oh, that's bad. We're full on surrounded at this point. Increase damage, I would say, so I can clear out a bit faster. Look how much XP I have been missing this whole time. At long last, speed has came. Yes. 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 Increase damage on this. Keep there. Look how many opponents. Look how much XP. I love it. I love it. Well made. Ooh, even faster. Let's go. Now we actually got the build going. Like, imagine if I if there is an upgrade that says you have one more. If there is an upgrade that says you have one more of these, increase attack size, I would say, yeah. Make this even bigger, even faster. Please stay away from me. Nice. I see all that XP that's about to expire, which we obviously cannot do anything about. Increase attack size or uh, speed. Let's go with attack speed. If I make the cleave happen every half second, it's also going to be crazy. Increase the dot, 0 0.8. Nice. Nice. We're slowly becoming power creep incarnate. You know, if I get like five or six more upgrades on speed, then I will be really good. Attack speed on this, obviously. Increase the cooldown. Uh, diminishing returns, by the way. Not diminishing, the opposite. Or the opposite of diminishing returns on the cooldown. Because obviously from 0 0.2 going down to 0 0.1 is doubling the damage. Nice, even faster. Where's the elite that supposedly woke up? The bees. The bees! Stay away from me! Oh no! Yeah, I need to I need to get out of here. Uh cleave size or cooldown? Let's go cooldown. Let's go cooldown so I can clear the bees faster. Because the bees are literally the one thing that somehow somehow dodge my flame. Somehow dodge my flame. I obviously want to kill the Ooh, 27 life, that's not good. I need healing. I also need to hit the boss a bit. Stay away from me. I I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm yelling too heavily. Take this, please. I don't want to lose the chest. Okay, I got the chest. Nice. Nice, I'm healed. Smack. 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 
Okay, these these survive, by the way. The opponents do not get one shot anymore. Come on. Okay, got him. Nice. So uh, let's try to look into it in one direction. Let's see what we find. For a chance, force pretty much. Okay, we got a bunch of XP here. Also got a, a bunch of meta progression currency. Oh man, we have like a hundred. And now we're fighting these little buggers, which not only don't die from uh, from the burn, but they also don't die after uh, a smack from the cleave. Whoa, 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 whoa. Increase speed by 20%. Let's go. Okay, look how fast this moves. <laughs> look how fast this moves. If you got scared by the sound effect, please comment down below and tell me about it. You know, just so that I have a feeling of I'm sorry even more. Attack speed against size. Let's go size. Let's go size. Although size makes it go outside, it also makes it faster. So size is actually decent. Not the best one, but still. I want more speed. I want more speed. The faster it goes, the better. Damage by one. Yeah, that's also very important. Now it does seven. I like that this game keeps all the numbers on the low. So you can very easily and quickly see the difference, you know. Instead of being like, oh, now you're doing 300 damage. Increases the speed by now 20%. Is this always gaining 3D? I want to see if it always gains 3D. So right now it got 3D. Let's see if it gets speed again, if it's going to be another 3D on top of that. It would really be nice if I could have gotten, you know, one more flame. Imagine having two flames. Uh-oh. That thing is running towards us. Uh, cool down on this. That's good. Okay. Whoop, it's dead. Wow. The boss is dead already. Insane. I was not expecting us to do so much. Okay, and we heal. Very nice. We are a little bit... We, we don't have that much left. We don't have that much left. We're closing in on the end. Uh, more damage or speed? So it is plus 3D every time. We're obviously gonna go speed. Look at this. If I get like 3 or 4 more speed, it's gonna be like boom, 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 boom. I love it. I love it. I love how it looks. By the way, the character slides a bit. It's like as if I'm permanently in thin ice. Um, why thin? I don't know why thin, but just in ice, I guess. Uh, increase the damage. So that it does more damage. Now it does 8. Very nice. Now it's two shotting the sandworms. I also seem to have some kind of crit chance. I don't know from where that's coming from. Increase the damage by one again. Now it's doing nine, which is even better. Even more things die. Unbelievable, guys. Nine is better than eight. Size, yes. Why not? I listen to a sound effect. I guess Nalid is incoming. I listen to a sound effect. What? I heard the sound effect. That's what I meant. And the elite is top left or something. I saw like an, an, an arrow up here. The bees, man. The bees. And the only way to attack them is with the cleave. <laughs> Imagine if this was actually cleave build. And we had like... I see something down there. Open a chest over here. Two and one. Bees, please go away. Okay, we open that up. Increase the speed even further. Yeah, we're gonna go with speed. I'm sorry. Could have also gone with a dot, but obviously speed is better. And we got the sand enemies again. Try to pick up all the XP I left up there. I really hate the fact that the XP disappears. Uh, size, yeah. Why not? Once again, the bigger the size, the faster it's gonna go. Although it, it makes us more vulnerable against close-up attacks. This takes a while to gather. What is this? What is this gem? Why does it take so long? Run around in circles. Uh, even faster. Even faster. I guess it's this. Uh, it's the rare currency. That's why. You know, I should slowly not move that fast. The slower I move now, the higher the chance that nothing's gonna go through the whirlwind. Oh, we found another one of those. So we're gonna pick that up too. Meta progression currency. Stay away from me. Stay away from me. Opponents appearing from behind. Below. Behind. Below. Same thing. Increase damage. Okay. Can you guys just get destroyed, please? Can you guys... How many tornadoes are gonna join you in? How many tornadoes are gonna join? Let's go pick up XP. Theoretically, I should have like... Ooh, dot. Nice. Theoretically, I should have like a huge pickup range, right? Didn't it say that on level up, I gain 5% more pickup range? Damage against dot speed. Let's go dot speed. Let's try to make the dot speed 0.1, like I said. If that happens, then whatever gets, hits, gets hit once instantly should die from the dot. I mean, not instantly. It sh it, it, the dot would be 10 DPS pretty much. Because the dot seems to be 1 damage no matter what happens. Look how many opponents are on the bottom. Good chance 5% higher. Not that that's useful. But whatever. 
I mean, attack speed would obviously be better. I could reroll, but nah. I'm not sure if money is used at anything. Uh, let's go plus damage on this. So it tries to one shot some a couple of things. Vroom, vroom, look at this, man. Dot speed against dash. Let's go dot speed. 0 0.5 at this point. Okay, let's go damage. Now it's even more one shotty. We're closing into the boss. I want to get a couple more levels. Even faster. Even faster. 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 Let's go attack speed on this too. I love it. I love it. No evolution. No fancy crazy st things. But uh, yeah, the, you see the madness happen. Like you see the power creep here. And it's pretty, pretty relaxing power creep. It isn't even like, you know, it isn't, I don't know. It isn't Madness Incarnate, which is always fun, obviously, but also this chill version of you hit everything once and it dies. You know, that's the that's the fun part. Oops, we got hit for no reason. And we're closing into the 50 minute mark. I have no idea how dangerous the boss is, but we're gonna learn together and I don't even see opponents spawn anymore. Yep, that's like, this is definitely a game mechanic, right? The fact that the opponents do not spawn literally like a couple of seconds before the boss and then they despawned even 600. What is this? Oh, stay away from me. Oof, that was a lot of damage. Is the wall gonna protect us? Well, I can see... Ooh, this, the stage becomes smaller. It's a bit sad that I didn't get the... I didn't get the... What is it called? The dot down to 0 0.1 seconds. Ooh, it became even smaller. Okay. Let's run towards the right here. I just make him come towards us and then we run towards the left or right, you know. Okay, even smaller. Not that it matters for us. And he's almost dead, by the way. Whoop. I can even smack him with a cleave. Just to go faster. Oh, I got one. Easy enough. Very easy, actually. Very easy. And I got a bunch of meta progression currency. Oh, man. The next runs are going to be insane, obviously. What should the next one be? I guess I can go with spikes to see how the spikes look. Spikes looked awesome. I could also go with archery, but I mean, I don't know. Maybe spikes plus archery. Maybe something like that. Let's go to the Oracle. I felt an energy of forward trembling with your victory, Hunter. Ah, oh, that's it. Okay. What do we have here? Unlock five pets to find out who will assist you in the battlefield. First of all, let's go see all the big notes. Next one uh, is this one. Ability Tangle Vines. Unlock a new ability. Uh, I cannot buy this yet because I need to destroy uh, 100 Desert Vines. So not only can you not overfarm. Fairy Warrior not have unlock Hex. Desert Ruin Battles unlock. That's the fight. Health 2. Unlock the Desert Ruins hard mode for 1,000 if you beat the boss once. Okay, obviously do not have 1,000. So this game actually needs you to farm. Unlock the ability Bone Shot. Okay, but I think I want the pets first. Let's get the pets. Pets unlocked. Hunter, when you're fighting the Horde, you will find allies to help you along the way. Look at them. Look at them! Look at them! Increase base damage by 1. The Slather. <laughs> The Driller. Mining speed is increased by 30%. Okay, I don't care about that. Mm, the plan is to be OP and destroy everything, so I don't need that. Increased magnet range. I like that a lot. Hero movement speed is increased by 30%. Eh. Dig, dig for loot every 10 seconds. Is this free XP? I'm gonna use this. Wait. Do I have to find them? I guess I have to find them or something. Unlock the Highlands battle. The Hinterlands. That's the next stage. You know what? I don't want to really go to the next stage right now. I want to have more fun where I am already. So let's try a spikes build, as I said, and then maybe, then maybe uh, if we win, we should go for the bone shot. First of all, um, yeah, let's get the bone shot. I want to see what this is. Uh, what does it gain? Bone shot increased by one. Okay, I'm not. I'm now gonna power this up. So one extra spear, another extra spear. Damage caused by spear increased by one. Spear cool down. Let's go with cool down. Cool down. Size, what size scroll upgrades increased by 5%? Size scroll upgrades increased by 5%. Uh, well, let's uh, let's take it. That I guess that means that when I get an upgrade for size, it's 5% more than it should. That's my assumption. That's my assumption. Uh, this, oh, this, this uh, only needed 10 to upgrade. Well, this needs like 40 and 50 and whatnot. I guess this is supposed to be the first weapon. Increase rotation speed, yeah. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's actually go. Let's go another one. Uh, I would enjoy the same character again. I mean, I don't care about healing specifically. What does this do? 
cast bones above and below. When a bone breaks, it will stun and damage anything nearby. You know what? I'm gonna pick her. What she cast bones above when, when uh, kills with bone shot have a 25% greater chance of dropping blue souls. We're gonna go with this as our main weapon and secondary weapon the bones. And I hope that the game is not gonna force us into picking uh, any other thing. And as I saw there at the right, the meta progression currency is increased. I'm sorry I'm playing the same stage. I don't want the other character, by the way. Like, he just has more healing. Oh, that's the spikes. Okay, that's how they work. They just appear below opponents. Okay. So, we want that to have like 0, 0.000 cooldown. Yeah, decrease cooldown by 0 0.2. <laughs> we need this thing to have a cooldown of nothing. We need it to be like spikes, 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 spikes all the time. I think cooldown is the king in this game. I think cooldown and attack speed is king. And not only this game, like in all the games that are like this. Okay, we found the bone shot, so let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's a melee... Okay, now I understand what it meant above and below. Well, um, it's good. It's good. It's good. And, and I get the reason why it's below and above. The reason why it's above and below is because uh, opponents from above and below have a higher chance to attack you than from left to right. Because left to right is closer to you. I found my first pet. Let's go bone shot cooldown. If the bone shot cooldown becomes 0.01, we're going to be damaged immune. So we found our first pet and our first shop. Let's go around and picking those up. Come on, stun him. Okay, I guess stun is not going to happen today. <laughs> the pet takes a while. And it doesn't seem to have to do with how far away I am. Plus one damage. Plus one numbers. Size. Let's go numbers. Numbers feels cor more correct. Maybe size was the play. Okay, I choose. Increase base damage by everything by one. The loot every 10 seconds. Crystal mining speed increase. Let's go with loot every 10 seconds. I would say. Let's go loot every 10 seconds. Obviously not the pet I wanted. And what loot every 10 seconds means? No idea. No idea whatsoever. Maybe it's just gonna be like, here, you get a 1 XP. Size against number. Let's go with number. Imagine if the number becomes something like 20, you know? Or maybe 30. No, that's just not gonna happen. I don't XP fast enough for that to be uh, the, uh, the case. Also, the problem is that I have to go around picking up XP. Uh, increase damage by 1. Nice, now they do 3 damage. Obviously, we want them to do about 15-20 damage. At 20, pretty hard. Maybe 15 is a good number. Try to maybe avoid. Yeah, I'm not even remotely trying to avoid. Okay, uh, might as well pick up the R2, right? Might as well try to pick up the R2 and see what this looks like. Oh, that's it. Okay, the arrow is the most like luster one yet. I will pick up a bunch of gold and then come to the shop. Gold, that's about to disappear. And that was really bad. Uh, increase the number, increase the range. Now let's go with number of spikes. I want to do the spikes build. Okay, and as I said, now obviously we did get forced to pick up a third weapon. And now we will also have the chance to roll, you know, upgrades for the arrow specifically, which is also not really that good. Uh, spears cooldown, yes, 0 0.4. I really need the spears cooldown, man. I really need to get this cooldown thing and like 10 more times minimum. Minimum. This guy's digging treasures, by the way. Now I have two purple crystals. I enjoy the spikes. I should not have unlocked the, the bones. Another two seconds, very nice. The reason I should not have unlocked the bones is just and only just because it forces me to pick up another weapon, right? I was enjoying my min maxi way and I am about to get another pet. Can that pet please be the, the pet I want, the magnetism pet? Because 50% magnetism is really good. AoE on the spikes, I would say. Imagine if the, if the spikes become like uh, full-on AoE explosions that destroy everything. Maybe that is their plan. Maybe that's the whole purpose of them. Okay, Magnet, 50% range. Let's go. I don't know when it's going to be active. I mean, it doesn't feel like it's working. Did I lose the other pet? I think I lost the other pet. Hold on on the bow. Might as well. Nope, I have them both. Nice. I have them both. Feeling blessed. Okay. Arrow is super... Whoa! Arrow is infinite pierce. I did not realize that arrow is infinite pierce. Okay, arrow isn't that bad. I, I mean, it's still not good. But it's also not as bad as I thought it was. Because infinite pierce has to be good for something, right? Increase damage by one. Increase cooldown. Let's go with cooldown. I would enjoy making the bones and an um, attack speed machine, you know? Once again, imagine the bones with 0 0.5 second... Uh, 0 0.1 second cooldown. It's gonna be like... Pop, 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 pop. I'm just imagining randomly. I'm not exactly sure if uh, you can even get that much attack speed in this game. Increase damage of the spikes, obviously, is better than the arrow itself. Because who cares about the arrow? 
You know, I need to explore a bit more. I'm sitting, I'm, I'm just sitting in one spot. That's my non-minmax way. Look at this. I mean, look how many things there are here. Just run around, pick up things. You know, money. Look at this. Now I have 150 coins. And honestly speaking, I want to pick up as much coins as possible before I go to the shop. Because I want to buy from the shop the meta currency and all the healing that he has. So I want to pick up like five, 600 coins and then go to the shop. If anything, I prefer losing the run than uh, going to the shop and buying one thing. No joke. And then the moment I lose, I'm going to be like, no, how did we lose? We had so much money. Where's the elite? There is supposed to be an elite incoming. Yeah, I see the elite projectiles, but where's the elite itself? Uh, cooldown 0.2, nice. Now it has a three second cooldown. It becomes better and better. The fact that it reduces itself by 0 0.2. I really enjoy the fact that this this weapon seems to be pretty more pretty powerful. Therefore, it has a huge cooldown. But because leveling up 0 0.1 at a time. Where's the elite? Where's the elite? God, did it get stuck? Here it is. It's in there. This is the elite. Okay, we're gonna just cheese it. I don't care that it got stuck. It doesn't seem like my arrows can go through. Oh, no, my arrows do go through. We're gonna stay here and just wait for this thing to die. It got full on stuck. Not my fault. Uh, cooldown, nice. Oh man, I'm excited about the spikes having a 0 0.5, 0 0.6 cooldown or 0 0.4 cooldown. Is that thing gonna die today? I'm hitting it with the arrows, but I'm not sure if I'm hitting it with uh, spikes. What hit me twice? Twice, thrice. Actually, a bunch of times. Your size, let's go. That thing is actually stuck in there, and the spikes don't even attack it. We found those grass things. Ooh. We are full on surrounded. We need more. 0.26. Nope. That thing, for some reason, was about to attack us. I'm in danger. I'm in grave danger. Uh, let's have, oh, come on! The hit, the hit radios on most of these things. The hit radios on most of these things. By the way, the elite never died. Uh, there was a metal progression currency there. I guess bone damage might as well. It's not that it's bad. Oh, come on, we're gonna die. Yep. I have one life left. I need to go to the shop right this moment. Go in big circles. Forget the elite. We go to the shop right now. Yes, I know I said I prefer to die than go to the shop and buy trash. But obviously that's not true when I can... Oh. Wow. What is this? I guess there are... I guess there are treasure rooms in this area. <laughs> I guess treasure rooms are a thing in this game. <laughs> I did not realize. Oh, come on. How many of these are there? Let's go size. Man, the, these don't die, first of all. I don't do enough damage. Okay, now I have enough money to go to the shop. <laughs> now I actually have enough money for the shop. To be important, that is. Up here, there's the DJ. The DJ Sands coming in. Today with a new hit. What does the mummy say? <laughs> I hope the jokes are hitting. <laughs> because they're really bad. Okay, let's run away. Increase attack size, I guess. Could also reroll, obviously. Man, I need to get to the shop somehow. Oh, there is not a shop here. Well, let's just go to the, another shop. As simple as that. What are you selling? First of all, what is this? Flash, movement speed increases. Oh, that's a pet. Oh, he's straight up selling a pet. And 80 souls. And the damage pet. Let's buy small of stack crystals. Five? Five crystals? Crystals are the unlock things. 20 stacks of runes is better. So I'm buying this, this, and this. He isn't even selling souls, by the way. Uh, not souls, health. He isn't even selling health. Okay. Cooldown of the bones, I would say. Where's the elite? Here it is. In general, I believe cooldown is the best thing to go for. Because no matter what happens, if you ever get an attack speed to be at 0 0.01 or something, uh, you will be destroying everything in one shot. Let's shoot a couple of arrows. Increase the number by one. Yep, that's the one of the better upgrades. Number and cooldown. Number and cooldown. The do good upgrades. Let's avoid the elite. Let's shoot arrows in there and maybe go with them. Uh, increase damage by one. Nice. Shoot arrows in there. Come on, spikes. 
Aren't the spikes supposed to attack my closest enemies? Two dollars upwards. I'm trying to go through, man. I'm trying to go through to pick up the XP. Uh, cooldown by 0 0.15. Yeah, that's good. At the end of the day, the arrow isn't even bad, by the way. Like, the arrow is pretty decent. Shoot. No. Shoot. Let me through. Hope I see more chests there. Does this increase AoE or cooldown for the bone shot? Let's go AoE on the spikes. I don't know what exactly AoE on the spikes even means. Number-wise, I'm running through, man. Increase AoE size again. Or cooldown on this. Uh, let's go cooldown on the bow. I still believe cooldown is better. Not pretty much anything. Okay, here we go. I like that the level up is just straight up pushes all the opponents back. By the way, if I started with the bow, 0 0.2, nice. If I started with the bow, would that mean that every single thing, every single shot with the bow? By the way, the bow is actually good. The bow is actually good, I have to say. I enjoy the bow now. Although it shoots very rarely because I don't have any progression on it. But it's pretty good. Money, money, money. I'm setting up coinage. Let's go over there on the on the things that try to disappear. Uh, two seconds on the spikes right now. Oh man, oh man. The spikes are closing into madness. Two seconds is pretty low. I mean, it started at four almost. Okay, the elite at long last died. I have 28 life though. Uh, I would enjoy damage, I would say. Okay, elite popped. Oh, come on. Imagine if that thing hit us through the pushback effect. Wait, so the elite drop doesn't give you anything? By the way, I heard the sound effect of another elite appearing. Uh, I'm gonna go to the other shop that we have found previously. Oh, here's the elite. I need to go out of here. Not go out of here, get out of here is what they say. It's two arrows back to back. Not even that is enough. There was a shop somewhere around here. Size against... Damage against cooldown. Oh, let's go cooldown bones. I still stick to my opinions. Cooldown is better no matter what. Even for the weapons you don't use that much. Because at the end of the day, if the bones become 0 0.1, it's gonna be like... Da -da 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 and then, oh, we found our chest. Yeah, we should always explore. We should always, always, always explore. We found chest, you find money. Actually, money is the important part, because if I spam the money for rerolls, I can definitely create a god build. Stay away from me, please. The treasure is being like, You wanna risk your life, my dude? And you're like, yes. <laughs> 1.8. Nice. Once I'm again, uh, the opposite of diminishing returns. The more I level up attack speed, the better it's gonna become. And the better it's gonna become, the more I'm gonna level it up. Okay, the, the, the shop is pretty much upwards. But upwards is a, is a hard thing to do right now. What is this? Damage on this. Damage on arrows. Increase damage. Uh, I think bones is better. I mean, yeah, arrows are good and all, but uh, bones are closing into becoming insanely attack speed crazy. <laughs> and, and they're mediocre, by the way. Like, bones are very bad, in my opinion. Okay, I got even more treasure. And I found an actual treasure chest. Stay away from me. And I also found this thing. I think meta progression currency is a bit more important than the treasure chest right now. The elite is below us, right? Yep. Uh, let's go with damage. I want them when they. I want when they appear, everything to die. I don't want anything to survive the spikes. These things take half damage, by the way. From the spikes, at least. Yeah, they actually. Yeah, I think from the spikes, at least. I'm not sure if it's from everything. Did I hear another elite? Don't tell me I'm fighting another elite. And another chest over there. <laughs> Going around for a bunch of these. Increased number by one, I would say yes. Man, the spikes have really good upgrades. Number is really good. Cooldown is insane. Damage is obviously useful. And then it also has size. You know, just, just in case it wasn't attacking enough things. It's also AoE. I'm still waiting for the elite to die. And uh, I have completely lost where the, where the shop was supposed to be. I have no idea where the, sh where the shop was supposed to be. I don't even care. I know we had the chest previously that I could have picked up, but here's another one. <laughs> like, it doesn't even matter. You don't even need to chase anything. You just move towards wherever. 0 0.7 on this. 
Very nice. Let's avoid, please. Yeah, it doesn't even matter. Yeah, literally. Just, just go around in circles. Find things. Now I'm going to start using money for cooldown, man. Uh, for rerolls. I'm losing life for no reason. Uh, this is good. Wrong way. And we are fighting two elites back to back. But now upwards. Three elites actually back to back. Okay. Let's not go too far away from everything. Find another coinage here. Uh, you know what? Reroll for the spikes. Oh, it scales. Oh, I did not know that it scales. Well, we're gonna reroll anyway. Scaling is stupid. Let's go with this. I was not assuming that it scaled. If, if uh, Obviously, I would pick that up instantly if I knew that it scales. What was that explosion? Oh, and Elite died. Stay away. Okay, let's first open up the one, and then we're gonna open up the other. Stay away from me, please, everybody. Oh, come on! I need to somehow go up there. And here's Metal Progression. And there's a pet over there. Man, so many things at the same time. Ah, let's pick up the pet first, as it's gonna provide some kind of passive. Oh, we are at 21 life. That's not good at all. Hopefully the another magnet pet? Is that even a thing? Oh, wait a minute. I can use these to protect ourselves. Yep, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have everybody get stuck in here. Uh, rank 2. Now digs for loot every 8 seconds. Increase hero movement speed by 10% and crystal mining speed is increased. I would, I would assume crystal mining speed out of these things, but, uh, you know what, let's actually, no, let's take this. Okay, first of all, I really enjoy the fact that you just have to run around in general and pick up things. Oh, reroll is permanent for the cost increase? This complete trash. Complete trash. I completely disagree with it. Mo uh, the the, mo the, 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 stu the the worst thing that could possibly happen, you know, reroll costing forever more. Like why in a game that you want to reroll like a thousand times? Don't do that, man. Increase damage by one on the spikes. Wait, the spikes were doing five this whole time. Wow, no wonder nobody's dying. By the way, the digger guy has dropped health. I just saw it. So this guy's insane. He has a chance to give you health straight up. He's really good. Now let's go pick up the boss chest. Yep. I mean, I'm not gonna reroll. I'm gonna run around and try to find the shop. I mean, do I even have time? I'm I'm running out of time actually. Yes, I'm actually running out of time. Yeah, let's try to find chests and shops. Because this run is pretty much over. In a bit we're about to fight the elite, and we know for a fact that the elite blocks you in. Increase damage by one, I would say. So that we at least do some damage. The bees, man. <laughs> the bees are still the one thing that attack us. That actually damage us. Come on, maybe find me a shop. Okay, we found a chest. Okay, chest is also good. Because chest gives you meta progression currency. And money, but meta progression currency mostly. Increase number by one. Let's go with this. Why not? It feels like there isn't any more cooldown on the spikes to gain. But I don't think that's true. I think everything can go down to the lowest of low. And now we have a thousand four hundred something coins. I need to find a shop right now. I have 20 seconds. Give me a shop. I'm full life. Give me a shop. I don't need levels. I don't need anything. I just need to buy all, all my gold. Transform all my gold into the meta progression currency. And no more points up here. And I found a pet. Yeah. <laughs> That's it pretty much. Let's open up the pet. Imagine if the boss is like, no pet for you, boy. Okay, it doesn't like that. Let's get the pet. Let's actually get the pet. Maybe it's gonna. We're even gonna see the level up. Okay, rank two. Base damage is increased by two. Well, we were not able to see the other thing. Let's take this, obviously. Uh, is the boss shrinking us no matter what happens? Or based on how much damage it takes? Whoa, 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 whoa! The boss does a lot of damage. Can I pull these in? No, I cannot. Oh man, I'm dying. I, I found the heal somewhere else, but it, it's obviously not enough. Okay, obviously don't need to deal with the boss at all. Oh, almost died. Almost died. There is always a chance to choke, you know? There is always a chance to lose the run. When the boss does 3D damage, obviously. <laughs> oh, 
Okay, it seems like we won. <laughs> I was about to say it seems like the, um, the rage becomes smaller regardless if I attack the boss or not, but no, uh, it seems to not be true. I got this 9 levels on this, 13 on this, and 29 on this. I also got my petties. And I did not kill all the bosses, and I got a couple of these bonus ones for the monster kills, and time survived. Nice. I don't know why I got 1 plus 1. <laughs> Of some kind of pickup. I feel the energy of the horde tremble, victory hunter. Okay. Um, yeah, let's unlock a couple of things. I think we're done. Health plus 10%, increase all hero health by 10% if you kill zero, a bunch of chicken. You know what? Let's just unlock the next stage so we don't forget it. The hinterlands. Unlock the hinterlands. The hinterlands were once a proud welcome long, blah blah. I don't really care. Increase old hero loot magnet by 20%. Oh, this, obviously. I love magnet. I always go for magnet. One more shop can appear on the battlefield. Ooh, there are fixed shops. I did not realize. So I guess there are only two shops in each fight. That's why I only had... Maybe it's only one. Like, you pick up one and then it just disappears. That's why I wasn't finding the second one. Maybe that's it. Maybe there is only one shop. Mining speed increases. That's a utility. And it's 275 crystals. Wow, insane. Increase old hero loot magnet by another 1%. Increase all hero loot mag by now 1%. Wow, those are really bad. Okay, next run is most likely gonna be a cleave run. Most likely, just for the memes. Or an arrow run. I could do an arrow run. Yeah, let's try an arrow run next. Cooldown 0 0.2. Damage up. Let's go cooldown. Cooldown and size. Scroll upgrade increase by 5%. I don't know what that is. Damage, damage. Damage and damage scroll upgrades increase. Oh, this is insane. This is literally busted, but I have not fought a sword knight. Yeah, so the game is, um, yeah, the game is blocking you to by from getting upgrades just through straight up saying, you know what, you have to beat this boss. And if you cannot really beat that boss, and not the boss, you have to beat this enemy. And guess what? I mean, not this one here, for example, it says you have to defeat sword knights. And guess what? Sword knights are not in the first map. You find sword knights in the second, the third and whatever, which if you think about it, it's really awesome and, and smart because you could just go full on in bows and get this thing, which is insane. Like the, the scroll upgrades, instead of giving you plus one, giving you plus two is really good. Like it's exponential. It's, it's, it's just doubling how quickly you power up. So it makes sense that they block them by telling you, you have to defeat this enemy 50 times so that you prove to us. For example, this thing th says that it gives you the hex ability. Maybe the hex ability is insanely powerful. Therefore, you have to first beat the fairy warriors to have access to that. And who knows what else is here, man? I don't know what the early access actually has. Like, I'm not sure if, for example, you can get this, which looks awesome, by the way. This seems to be like a, an epic upgrade or something. Uh, oh, actually, if it's, yeah, it's the same shape like that. Yeah, okay, that's a new map. So this is a new map. What's, what's an awesome ability? Wait a minute. Then this is also a new map? It can't be. Is, is this and this a new map? Because if you go to start a run, you will see that there are not that many maps. It's Highlands and then one more. 15 minutes, 1.2, 1.2 and 0% of this. Oh, there is another currency too. And also challenge levels, which I don't have access to. Man, this game has a lot to give. So if people enjoy this, I will play more of this. Right now though, we're gonna leave it as it is. Uh, because, you know, this was just a test run just to see how the game goes. I hope you guys enjoy. I'm thinking about doing maybe one or two more runs regardless of people watch this or not. And then I will look into the statistics and actually decide if I'm going to make a series out of this or not. Because honestly speaking, the fact that there is like a huge skill tree and we will slowly start becoming more powerful and more powerful is really exciting to me. So hopefully people enjoy this and therefore I play more of this. Anyway, that is going to be it for today. So once again, thanks for watching and see you guys around. Oh, I forgot something. Thanks for all the Patreon and members, if you're for And if you want to help me, just drop a like. Easiest thing. Anyway, that's going to be it this time, though. Once again, thanks for watching. And see you guys around.